Hey everyone, WanderBots here, and welcome to Nosia. It is a JRPG visual novel social deduction game. Or, uh, for most uh, most people that have been paying attention to the indie gaming scene over the last year or so, this is Anime Among Us, where we are going to be going onto a spaceship and trying to figure out who is the anime character among the crew and then vote them off because... What do you find? Who is the anime <laughs> character? They're all going to be anime characters. No. Well, is, that makes it really easy, doesn't of, it? Is one of them... An, I, th I think yeah. they're supposed to be either an alien or an android. Yeah, they're called Nosias and apparently they hate people and want to kill people and so you're trying to figure out who they are and so and the game follows a... I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And it, if you notice, over the save files, there's a loop. Yeah, so it's a time-looping narrative. Mm -hmm. uh, but also with RPG stats, so every time you go through, uh, you have random events that'll happen that uh, might unlock new things that you can say in a subsequent loop or even in the loop that you're in. Which, are, which makes think. me wonder, then, does the player character, whoever you're playing as, or are you just something that's observing everything? I honestly have no idea. Because do you retain your memories then? Don't. Well, oh, look, you do have player character. data. Okay. So we are going to be Nosia, the Nosian, the Nosian. Wait, wait, no, you can't. The Nosian. Hey, wasn't? No. Watch it if it actually like I put this in, and then we are just the bad person. It's like super. Oh, the Nos. No, no, no. Yeah, I can't put any more. Okay. So the answer is we have eight characters. Well, in that case, I guess Batman will have to do. We're not being Batman. No, let's try to figure out a, a interesting name. Man, just with a bunch of A's. Well, first off, do you, I did that recently. Do you want to play as a guy or a girl, great. or are there more options? What do we have here? Uh oh. Oh, look, they have a non-binary option. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I will probably be a dude just because I think. As this is an anime game, most of the characters are probably going to be ladies. <laughs> At uh, least most of the artwork we've seen has been so far. I don't know. What's a cool sci-fi name? I. How we, about how about something cool like Cypher? We could or, be Spybot. We are Robot. Time Cop. That's it. No, what? We are Time Cop. What about Time... <laughs> we are Wait, Time no. Cop here what? to solve anime problems. <laughs> really? We're not actually, I, we're I time did, looping. I, we're trying to find the bad boy. I do not want to have to read that out as everyone else in the cast. <laughs> it would be so good. Because <laughs> it, would, it would recognize that we are looping. And every, uh, look, I just really like the idea of this, like, you know, kind of classic mustache, you know, uh... like, just general policeman guy. It's like, oh, I'm Time Cop. I'm here to find out who the alien is and arrest them. Well, then why don't we... Why can't we just be something cool like Judge or or the Inquisitor? Or no, Inquisitor probably wouldn't even I mean, honestly, fit. Judge ain't terrible. I was just thinking of how there was Judge Dread. Or, no, but Judge is just weird. Now how that about, I think about it. How about let's do something weird? Yeah. It could be like Judge 36. Why? I don't know. Hmm. Names. It's always so difficult. It's true. I, I really like the name Cypher. Yeah. That's too edgy for me. Wait, you don't like Cypher? Nah. Okay. I still want Time Cop. What Shall, else is can a we futuristic... be Time Cop? Can we be Time Cop? I mean... I just really love the mental image. Here, why don't we be called Tempo? No. To, you know, to keep time in time. Cop. Or Tempora. Own this. Let's live the goof. I need more goof in my life. I need Time Cop. Uh. <laughs> You've got this, like, awkward smile. I... I just... Why? Why? Why not? I, uh. This is the beauty part of it. Okay. So what do we want to be? So charisma increases influential power of your comments, making others more likely to agree and follow your lead. I mean, that's definitely important in a game where you're trying to convince everyone of another's uh, guilt, right? Intuition allows you to pick up on other people's lies and suspicious behavior. Logic 
Makes it easier for you to convince others that you're right. How is that any different from charisma? I suppose logic, though, allows you to support your claims with logic. Charm makes you more amicable and thus less likely to be selected for cold sleep. Cold sleep? Wait, yeah, so they're throwing I believe people into get... cryo sleep? Well, yeah, so... Uh, can you, can you lose the game if you are put into cryo sleep? I think that's what triggers the loop. Oh. Performance makes you a better liar and helps you... Wait, hey, 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 hey. Sorry. Hey. And helps you to more efficiently get your point across. It sounds like a lot of these do very similar things. If you know what I mean, because yeah. logic allows you to to state your case, charisma allows so, you to state your case, I charm and performance. The only outliers I find are intuition and stealth because they do things that the other ones don't. Yeah, so charm makes it so that the regular crew members are not going to just uh, vote you off immediately. Yeah. You know, the more they like you, they're not going to vote you off. Stealth means the bad boy doesn't think to kill you first giving you more time to do whatever you need to do. Oh, yeah, look at that. Stealth makes it harder for others to pick up on your malicious intent and makes the Nosia less likely to target you. Yeah. That said, I think I've dis I I think I've discovered the winning combo here. Yes. Which is <laughs> Wait, every no. stat is a dumb stat. All in intuition, baby. No, 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 no. No, here. no, hear me out. Hear me out. This is a time loop game. There's no way we're going to win in our first couple loops. However, information gathering is probably the most important thing that we can do. Because we unlock more information on who the Nosia is. But can you re can you readjust your abilities and your stats no, as but you we go level on or not? Up. Every time we every time we do stuff we level up. I okay, so do you only how many points do you have total? Okay, so uh total we have Because if you want you can dump I would say we have half 29 your stats. points to spend into things. I shall. I I realize that I'm pushing the meme here, but I really want to try it. Please do half intuition. No, 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 no. I really want to see if we have just insane intuition right off the bat. We'll never convince anybody. We but will we'll fail. Know every, well, yeah, but that's the point. We're going to fail anyway. I want to know as much as possible. Wonder what I'm concerned okay. about is that if you do this. How many loops will we have to go through? Like we can find out the first loop who the, the who the villain is, but then if you do not have the charisma, logic, it's charm, true, performance, but we'll know what to spend points on to cover our weaknesses. Say if it turns out that we never need performance, why put points into it? Why waste those points when we could put more points in intuition so we could know yet more things? I just think I would put points into intuition, stealth, and one of the other categories charm might be good I, so that you have but more time. here's the thing. What if we don't get voted off? You know, what if what if the charm stat really isn't that big of a deal unless we're doing something really weird? And so we can just get by by being almost a passive observer for the first couple rounds and then eventually we put enough points into charisma and logic that we just become, uh, you know, or the master orator and immediately are just like, it's them! I know it! And everybody else is like, yes! We don't know how many points we're going to get each round. I, I saw it I, in the screenshots. You get a lot of points, so it's no biggie. Really? Can I? Can we try it? Like, how often do you get to min-max like this? Imagine if in Dungeons & Dragons you could have a 30 charisma and your character is weak as a baby. In every other thing? Yeah, like, uh... it would drastically change how the game plays. Um, These are interesting colors. I wonder if everyone else in the crew gets different colors. I think so, yeah. And they might even be referred to as, as such. Maybe I, not. I'm trying to make out... Blue looks almost like a bow. Uh, and a there's bow a sword. or a key? Yeah, there's a sword. I do not know what purple is supposed to be. It looks kind of like an orange with something dangling off the front. That almost looks like a... A tome with candles next to it or something? Uh, Tori Gate. I'm also getting kind of a monster mouth ah, thing going on. Yeah. And of course, Light Blue has the cards with the moon mysticism. Mm -hmm. I'm not too... I, I'm not fond of anything on the lowest row. I mean, Black Pink looks, is actually really pretty. It, it is. I think the reason why is because it has a yellow to pink. Yeah. Whereas everything else seems to have a yellow-white. I don't like white black. To, it it, it ha looks like a teardrop of some sort. Yeah. 
white is it has a tree. Yeah, I it actually looks like, like white because they went with kind of a bluish white. We're spending way too much time on this. Do okay. You just pick one. Hmm. My vote is for pink, white, and uh, purple and blue. I am between light blue, white. Let's and... go white. Okay. I think in that way we are the either yeah it would be it, I wonder how how that will show up in UI I just I cannot wait oh boy in instances in which the note uh, <laughs> can we slow down the text and uh, restart yeah. this no 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 instead let's just roll it back a little bit transcribe it because there are some major typos and then have shell read it out loud in instances in which Nosia infection has been confirmed, the crew must find a way to reduce their risk level to zero. A method that has been found effective at reducing risk levels is putting those suspected of infection through a procedure known as cold sleep. This allows the crew to use the infected person's use of impersonation to their own advantage, as well as to avoid instances of mass panic that can occur when more aggressive methods are employed for containment. Depending on the crew, military suppression is often used to control infection, but this increases the chances of violence and death, as seen on the Hengapus case, and should not be used when the AI-evaluated plan is scored at 0.78 or less. When employing cold sleep, the crew must first be informed that their foremost goal is to ultimately reduce risk of infection to zero by determining those with the highest possibility of infection and systematically putting them into cold sleep with each shrimp transfer. To achieve this, candidates for cold sleep treatment are to be decided through direct and clear communication between crew members. When infection has been confirmed, AI and embarkation functions are severely limited, so communication must be carried out verbally and face to face. This can also help to better see through an infected member's facade. Additionally, upon confirmation of onboard infection, the ship's destination is automatically updated via AI to the solar system reachable with the highest number of shrimp transfers with the ship's current resources. If shrimp transfer to the target system is executed before the risk level has dropped to zero, the ship will self-destruct via extreme compression. Watch that text scroll have actually been much slower if we push points in other stats like logic or something probably not i know it, the way that this girl is saying understand it almost makes me think that it was supposed to yeah be it was read. supposed to go by really fast i don't think we need to worry about it all right understand press the a button to proceed when comments are available press the x button to select your command or com comment there we go got uh, it I wait wait you should have said no so that maybe we could have read it more slowly it's okay we know we know the gist you replied that you understand. Pretty impressive, absorbing all this stuff just by simple explanation. It's pretty reassuring. Let's talk while we walk. Are you able to get up? Looks like you're okay. All right, let's head to the main console room. Everyone's already there. There's probably a lot that you still don't understand, but take it easy. You'll pick things up as we go along. It's her. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you. Time cop. Really? I'm going to have to say that the yeah. rest of the game? Is it alright if I just call you time sometimes? Uh. Time does sound really pretty. Time cop is <laughs> a little less so. Do you I believe... come from a, huh? a long, venerated line of cops. My parents <laughs> named me Time. My mother was space, and my dad was donut. <laughs> For goodness sake. It was match made in the heavens. Specifically somewhere around he Saturn. <laughs> Do you believe that mankind should be wiped out from the universe? The yes is going to definitely draw suspicion that you're the nos Nosia <laughs> off the bat. Chill. Chill. You want to say Can I it? just be the worst for this first loop? Just also, pick all of the wrong options, try and die, just to see. Learn as much as we can, 
experience the meme and then I play a little bit more Watch seriously. Watch her ask this of you. You go into the meeting <laughs> and she says, oh yeah, it's by, him. by the way, he, he just told me this outside the door. I, yeah. I just, to some degree, it's so tempting to just say yes, just because, like, how often do you play a game and you play contrarian? You know, do you pick the bad options or do you pick the good boy options? I always pick the good ones. You do. But that's just because but it's like that's in, how I would role play in myself. In almost every RPG, you get three different flavors of the same. And I think whenever I'm given a branching narrative, I try... I My, my gut reaction is to play good boy and just play normal. But my, my, like, my brain and my heart say, no, test it as much as possible. See what you can do. Because I... almost no game that we've ever played actually has a proper branching narrative mm -hmm. this one might and that's why it's so tempting to hit yes can i fine yeah you can you're just going to be incriminating yourself even... you replied that mankind should be wiped out oh okay i see but you'd better keep that to yourself in front of everyone else otherwise it's going to be you who gets wiped out time cop <laughs> don't worry We'll make it through this day, this today, at least. Come on, let's hurry. Whoa. Rockio. I... Ah, the guest of honor has arrived. Hello, Setsu. Has Time Cop's memory returned? No, it doesn't look like these medical pods will be enough. Um, so we have like zero leads then. Here. Should I take the peacock? Do you think the peacock is a guy? I don't know, but and I'm really... seeing nothing but ladies. I think there are a couple of guys coming up. Okay. Well, we'll when we see. learn more about them, maybe they'll they'll yeah. have pronouns later so that we'll know what's going on. It, it does seem... It could be one of those futuristic stories where everyone dresses in a lot of colors and it's has true. makeup and such and... Yeah, it's really interesting. Well, it's just like I've been saying. I don't remember anything. It's a bit too suspiciously convenient, right? It's virtually a given. Time Cop is Nosia. Ha! You tried your best to pose as a human, but to no avail. It seems you're being viewed with suspicion. Oh, this is actually the narrator. Yeah, do you want me to be the narrator? Okay, you can be the narrator for once. It seems you're being viewed with suspicion. The suspicion that you're not human. No, try thinking of it this way. Amnesia at a time like this is too suspicious and brings unwanted attention. Do you really think a predator would try something like that? As far as I know, no Nosia infectees have tried- Oh, wait, so people can be infected with it Nosia. It might be a parasite. That's often what it is. Oh. Have tried faking amnesia before. If Time Cop was an enemy, it'd be much harder to tell, I believe. T. I agree. I don't think we have any reason to suspect Time Cop. <laughs> oh, hey, we're out of time. Uh-oh, well, we have, like, no idea who the Nosia is anyway. Let's just hurry up and get, like, a get to the voting. Get the voting done? Yeah. A screen lights up in front of you. Which of these people should you vote for? Oh, can't vote for me. Well, I say Rockio because they were they were gung ho about voting you oh, off. Oh, the bird off. It's a bird ship. Well, bye. That oh, was fast. Oh, wow. Everyone disliked you. Oh. Just what are you trying to accomplish? Do you actually believe that I'm Nosia? You're all incorrigible. Seriously. Rockio, a vote is a vote. Whatever. It's not like I have any s say in this now anyway. Just hurry up and take me to the cold sleep room then. I doubt I'll ever wake up though. I'm going to turn the, uh, the, the, the text. text down. I think there was an option for having it so that you can't accidentally skip dialogue I with turned button that presses. On. Really? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Once the warp has finished, the Nosia will have killed someone, and you'll realize I was innocent. You're basically giving the Nosia carte blanche. Oh my god, Rakio, you're like such a whiner! Let's just hurry up and start the freeze. Alright, 
It's almost time for the warp. I'll handle the cold sleep process, so you all go back to your rooms. Does Time Cop know where their room is? Oh, that's right. Levy, set up a guide to Time Cop's room. The hallway floor lights up the way to your room. You follow the lights to your quarters. We had to get in there and it's just full of pulsating masses. <laughs> huh. This appears to be the right room. So... I'll take it. Okay. Huh. Hello, Time Cop. My name is Levy. I'm the ship's AI system. Oh, well, you need to have... Okay, you want me to the, be... You want, I want you to be Vision. Why don't you try to have a suave... Hello, know. Time Cop. My name is Levy. I am the ship's AI system. I act as a guide, helping you all to be as comfortable as possible. This ship will commence warp in ten minutes. You will be rendered unconscious during warp, so to avoid injury, please lie down on your bed. Thank you for your attention. Oh, and it seems you have a visitor. Of course, it's the question mark, question mark, question mark. We never know what to say. It could be, well, it's probably the deeper voice girl. I don't know. We'll see. Time cop, are you there? Nope. Never mind. Oh. It's the dits. Oh, hey, you're already profile. I, okay, maybe it's the redhead. Let's Look, see. if she's saying I'm gonna like let myself in, uh, oh, that's the instant like. dit. Yes, dits. the like. Oops, I hope the door opened. I'm just gonna like uh, let myself in. Yep, you're right. Hey, <laughs> it's SQ. Oh wait. Oh yeah, you look like uh, don't remember me, right? Time cop. Uh, have you even forgotten about? Uh, you know, um, that night? Hold left stick button to display the backlog. By your logic, the more lines of backlog you can view. We have no backlog. <laughs> no backlog. What backlog? We have no... We have no memory. Uh, no. That night. What? That night. What is it? You replied that you don't remember. <laughs> oh, of course you don't. I mean, we've never actually met before. Oh well, whatever. So, Time Cop, you were dumped into this super serious situation all of a sudden, huh? I was just wondering if you were okay. Are you keeping up? I am okay, but I still can't keep up. <laughs> you replied that you aren't able to keep up. <laughs> oh, well, neither can I. I, so don't worry about it. Also, you've got Setsu there for you too, Time Cop. Oh yeah, so about that, Setsu is super nice to you, right Time Cop? Seems to know about you and stuff. Did her eyebrows just appear? I think they did. I, I always love it how in, in certain styles you have the eyebrows appearing through bangs and mm -hmm. such. I, I, it's a way to allow them to still keep their emotional expressions mm. and such. Without sacrificing their hairstyle. That <laughs> massive updo. <laughs> yeah. But Time Cop, you gotta be careful, okay? You can't trust people just because they're nice to you. You know the Nosia? They totally lie and mess with you and stuff. That's why it's so hard to get rid of them. OMG! What if Setsu was like Totally Nosia. I kind of have a feeling that wouldn't a Nosian be trying pretend... to influence you like this? Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't they? Yeah. Wouldn't I, they? I think they no would matter what, it's the wrong decision. At least for this one. I know, but it would be hilarious if you actually just randomly picked the right one and won the game within like loop one. I think the problem is the two other girls would have still chosen Rakio. Yeah, and then we probably get murdered or, or something like that. Or watch it be a situation where everyone would have chosen the same person anyway, and they it would have always agreed with you. Mm -hmm. But I think everyone would have chosen Rakio. I yeah. think they expected you to choose Rakio because, because they were Because she to was you. the one sussing you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, but I, this is very I, suspicious. I honestly don't care right now. And also, uh, in any game, in anything where I've seen an alien trying to be human and pretend to be human in order to gain everyone else's trust and such, they usually take on this persona, but we'll see. Yeah, probably not. It's it, she, She's just drawing suspicion, obviously. Three minutes until warp. Time cop, please lie down on your bed. Oh, 
snap! We're like out of time. Hey, time cop. Wanna like sleep together? Really? Now? Anti-nosia no. procedures do not allow that. SQ, please return to your room. Oh, Levy is like so strict. Okay, fine. I'll go back. Okay then, time cop. If we're still alive, see you tomorrow. Goodbye, harlot. <laughs> Beginning warp countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, what? four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh no. Nosia presence was detected upon completion of warp. Please find and remove any crew member infected by Nosia, as per anti-Nosia procedural guidelines. Repeat. Nosia presence was detected upon completion of warp. Please find and remove. Time cop, are you there? Are you okay? Time cop. What's up with her eyes? Freaking creepy. Yeah, she she does. She has colored i uh. Irises, but they turn full red. Oh, right. Wasn't there that one scene where she showed surprise and there was a blue yeah. interior to it? Yeah. I don't know. That might be an interesting clue. Who knows? Also, did she always have that pink splattered on her shirt? Maybe. I think so, maybe. Plus, SQ bleeds pink. <laughs> Time cop. Oh, oh no. Sorry for overreacting like that. I'm glad you're okay. Sounds like Levy's warning has stopped. Oh, do you know what would be really interesting? Hmm? What if you and one other person are Anosia? Hmm? And you're just amnesia. Uh, they deleted your memory so you could somehow suss out the other one? Or so that at least one of you would be able to survive. Yeah. Or something know. weird. I don't know. It is interesting how she's looking after you so much, but... All right. Sounds like Levy's warning has stopped. Time Cop, you heard it, right? That's right. Apparently, Rakia wasn't infected after all. As Levy says, our enemy is still among us. Oh, oh. She said the thing. She said it. Red is sus. Let's head to the main console room. Everyone should be there. You guys, good to see you again. SQ. Oh, wait. So, like, if you two are okay, that means. Levy, check on Gina's location. Hold the L button to view the crew list. Use the R button to check the number of people on the Nosia. Wait. Uh, number of people and Nosia. Oh, number of people and the Nosia. So, what's. Yeah, Gina is. It's. She's highlighted in red and... Oh, wait a minute. Was Rakio in blue? Because frozen yeah. and dead or yeah. gone? Yeah, so there's five of us and one Nosia. Mm -hmm. Gina does not appear to be on board the ship. According to the log, Gina's signal disappeared after the war. That this means... So, like, the Nosia got her. Gina, she was one of the people here yesterday. Was she attacked? Yes. Gina has been erased from this universe. SQ, Time Cop, and me. It's one of us. One of us has been infected by the Nosia. So I guess it's like the only possibility, huh? Yes. All right, let's get started. These discussions are necessary for our survive survival. Okay, what do we have here? Press the X button to comment. Press the A button to keep quiet and see how things unfold. And once someone has made five comments, the vote will begin. Oh, so you need to interject? Doubt or cover. We... Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see what they say. I mean, we are not spec'd for saying any words. <laughs> It's just as I said before. It's highly unlikely that Time Cop has been infected by the Nosia. Therefore, it's either you or me, SQ. Uh, I mean, yeah, I agree. Wait, did you agree? I'm just listening. You're listening? Yeah, let's just listen. So we say nothing. 
Oh, so like, it's all on me now? I I say we just wait and see. I, I'm, I'm fully down for chaos strat right now. Okay. Wow. I think that Setsu is like pretty sketchy. Like, I'm gonna get Time Cop on my side for the vote. That seems totally sketchy to me. So, I guess I'm in the way, huh? I don't care if you lie, SQ. But what's the purpose of these lies? Oh, so like, it's all on- Wait a minute, I thought that you had super intuition. Can't you- Can't you- You- Can't you use some kind of detection? I- I think it's actually for the events later. Like, we're still in the tutorial. Uh... I think our stats right now are kind of useless. So, who do you want to vote for? Is what I'm saying. Ah, basic rules. Oh, boy, howdy. Yeah. List of roles, discussion, hate. <coughs> <laughs> Oi. Oh, charisma logic performance. Oh, look at this. They have a little thing. Rakio has low charisma but high logic and performance. Since so few people will be swayed by their suspect, it seems as though their influence is weak, but this actually damages one's amicability and trust significantly. Ah. So I. Oh, SQ has both high stealth and charm. Even when doubted, others are generally quick to defend her, and she's able to dodge suspicion easily, making it difficult to get others on board to vote her out. Interesting. So, yeah, Charm and... I was right about Charm and Stealth being in a similar category. Mm -hmm. I... Oh, for... For Nosia, suspecting a human or defending an ally is a lie. Oh... Wait, oh, so suspecting a human or defending an ally is a lie. But who's Stella? We haven't encountered Stella yet. No, I think there's a whole cast that we have not even encountered. Are they all? Okay. I, I, <laughs> I think a lot of them are ladies. This is a visual novel after all. When an AC follower acts as an engineer, any report they give will be a lie. When they're engineering, lie, lie, lie. Defending a human or doubting an ally is not a lie. So this is how our intuition stat will work. But how are we supposed to... Maybe it's because this is the tutorial and we don't really have many people to, to go with, but... Well, what do you think? I'm just... I, this is so dense. It's a lot of information off the bat. Like, oh, oh look, there, there's a map of the ship in different levels. The person reported by, wait a minute. I just wanted to deploy. Nighttime movement. This is going to get really complicated. Eventually. Yeah, this is part of the reason why I'm just totally fine with whatever. Wait, two people can disappear? I Bug elimination. Boy, Ooh. howdy. I This might be something that wait, wait, I straight wait. up. Go back, go back. There were some interesting portraits. This one. Oh, Jonas? Kugrushka. Oh, wow. Otome. So we, we get up to the point where we have 15 people Shaw rolling Ming. around. Chippy. Atome is a... Uh, Komet. Is a dolphin? A beluga. A beluga. There we go. A beluga. And Shigemichi is an, a, a it literal It looks more like gray. a Roswell Gray. Yeah. yeah, he's a Roswell Gray. Stella Renman. So there are going to be one, two, three. There's going to be at There's least a couple of guys. guys. Yeah. Dibs on Atome. Atome is going to sound like this. <laughs> okay, I, sure. I'm Atome. <laughs> I'm the world's sexiest beluga. <laughs> All right. You may call me Baby. Oh, look at this. Engineer Doctor Guard Duty. Baby so the Beluga in the Deep Star Sea. <laughs> Wait. Do you get to assign people a different rule? Uh, friend to trap? Whoa! I. This yeah. is. Whoa! And they're even gonna have little stat circles and everything. This will be fun. This will be okay. I, so, let's actually get through this vote. We can see this oh later. Oh my god! We, we can we can read through the giant manual later. 
let's let's actually get back yeah, to the story. I I oh boy. Uh I'm just gonna I'm just gonna die probably. Wait and see. Um yeah, Setsu is like super sketchy now. So I guess so they're just wait unlooping. Off. So we have to defend someone. Or we can just keep waiting. Yeah, so they're just looping dialogue. I don't care if you lie. Oh, it's all on me now. Yeah, so we have to interject. We Start have to do vote. something. It's about time to vote. Who do we vote? Me! Anyway. The interesting thing is I per... I between the two characters, I dislike SQ, but I almost wonder if... Setsu, Setsu is creepier. Setsu is creepier, but I just don't like SQ. Put out SQ anyway! Bye. Uh-huh. What? I totally thought that was gonna work! Okay. Can I just, like, try and escape then? So she is? Maybe. If you do... Levy will have no choice but to employ use of force. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna go freeze then. SQ was sent to cold sleep. I know that we we played directly as what the tutorial probably wanted us to because they were having Setsu. I, I think a no lot matter what, whoever the survivor is murders us. Mm hmm. SQ's cold sleep has been confirmed. I guess that's it for now. Oh, yeah, Time Cop. I have something to give you. Oh, <gasps> here. Take this. It's an Ouroboros. It's probably our time powers. Data reference has been unlocked. When the data reference button is displayed, you can use the Y button to view comment logs and crew data. Okay, roll crew. Friend, Setsu. Detractor, no one. So, discussion log. Mm-hmm. So, that's just... It just gives a summary. Gina was eliminated. They are suspicious. And suspicious. There's more suspicion. Crew data, Gina. So, it looks like if we're... If we do certain things with them while they're... We're their friend or their detractor. Oh, look at that. So, there was Earth. There was the Li Liu, Liu belt. Base 52... Lise Fleet. Can you go back to Rakio? Huh. Uh, they are gender neutral. Okay. So if we can look into. I honestly. Let's voices. not even look at this stuff for like okay. two loops. Here, take this. Don't doubt. Don't be afraid. And no, knowledge will save all. That's what the person who gave this to me said. It was a long time ago. I think you're going to need it, Time Cop. So I'll pass it on to you now, while I have the chance. Also, <laughs> I'm not sure what to talk about. When all Nosia are put into cold sleep, the human side wins. If the number of Nosia is half or more of these remaining, the human side loses. Well, let me introduce myself properly. We've been so busy, I hadn't really had the chance. Once win or loss conditions have been fulfilled, or if you are attacked and put into cold sleep, the round ends. Attacked or put into cold sleep. Right, okay. My name is Setsu. Good to meet you again. Ending conditions have been fulfilled. Today's results will be displayed. That still doesn't look good. I'm not sure if I should say this, but blah, 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 blah. Ah, she was the Nosia. Oh, you're right. Look at the, the change in the portrait mm -hmm. with the long tongue, the the eyes with the very minuscule pupils and the weird. Was that like a skull and crossbones under her Yeah, eye? instead of the heart. Ah, uh-huh. Going to end the game? Yes. All right, well, this is a good stopping point. At least for now, you're going to see a little bit of the start of loop two, but that's okay. Anyway, this game is really interesting. It's got some weak points, namely the discussions have next to no nuance. There's almost nothing more than just like, you're a liar. No, you're a liar. Hey, he's not a liar, but you're a liar. And just kind of loop like that. 
And I think a lot of this opens up once you start getting the events, the actual like plot points that you can get with various character moments over the course of a run. Apparently there are certain conditions to unlocking them. I really do not know. We haven't even left the tutorial yet as of uh, me recording this outro. We recorded like four hours of this game. This is a long tutorial teaching you how to play and kind of the, the basic interactions. Now, I will fully admit, uh, for those of you that probably clued into this in the very beginning, uh, but my choice of going all in on intuition was actually a really terrible idea. I wanted to see what would happen, and I was really hoping that we'd be able to just, like, suss out every lie immediately and just kind of vote correctly and then hope for the best. The problem is, uh, as you'll see in the next couple of videos, no one likes us. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they're scripted too, which means like we get voted out instantly a lot. But at the same time, it cuts down on a lot of fluff and skips through the tutorial a little faster. So I don't mind too much, especially because the tutorial for this game really didn't need to be as long as it is. And honestly, to some degree, I think I have some structural concerns with how this game works. But I think that's mostly just me applying my own perception of what this game could have been as opposed to accepting it for what it is. Uh, so if it's not immediately obvious, this game's a little procedurally generated. Uh, later on, you actually get the ability to customize every run from the amount of people, the amount of Noceans, uh, the specific roles that are played, which is actually really cool. And you're just supposed to loop a bunch until you've, I guess, somehow solved the story. I believe there is an actual ending. It's not just like drops you in and it's full roguelike style. I think it's, uh, I would hesitate to call it closer to like what Hades is, where you kind of loop a bunch of times and then eventually there's a much more conclusive ending that you can reach. Uh, but still, I like the idea of it and I want to see more of this. Uh, so we're, we're going to put out a number of more, number more episodes, uh, including a particularly special one that I think we might end this mini series on. And honestly, if you guys really like this, we will absolutely continue to play more. It is interesting enough that I want to keep doing it. I think it's just, uh, it's hard to record considering a lot of the back and forth is just like, you did it. No, you did it. You know, how, how do you record that and keep it interesting? Because it's hard to have discussions while you're paying attention to the game. So it might be a little bit more of a highlight reel as opposed to an actual uh, back and forth. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, still a very neat and interesting and promising visual novel RPG social deduction game. And I've never seen anything like this. And I really want to see more like it because it's such a neat story structure and such a neat concept. And I mean, obviously, like I play a lot of Project Winter. I love these kinds of games. And so not actually having to feel bad about who I'm betraying or who I'm voting off or, you know, specifically trusting anybody because I don't have that baseline, you know, desire to please other human beings around me. It's a little easier to play clinically and actually, you know, be super detective man. So, anyway, with all that, I guess Nocia is out on the Nintendo Switch now. I don't think it's out on any other platforms. I love to see it on multiple other platforms. I feel like this could actually do really, really well on Steam, uh, but I could be wrong. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's 25 bucks. I could be wrong. But, anyway, uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because, like I said, we got a number of episodes ending on a pretty particularly high point, and then, honestly, could actually come back and continue the series even longer if people are actually really interested. But, for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.